News on 6. This is a severe weather update. All right, tornadoes on the ground uh, just east of Hevener right now, and that's where J.D. is located at this time, right in the vicinity of it. So it's just off to his east. This is a confirmed large tornado uh, that is now moving off and to the east side, and then they'll be heading on up. Huh? Power flashes. Power flashes, he has. J.D., go ahead, give us an update on what you're seeing, will you? Yeah, I'm on the north northeast side of Hevener here, uh, and I'm seeing power flashes just to my northeast. This thing comes to the south side of Hevener, uh, I'm not sure if it was on the ground at that time, but it uh, appears to be on the ground now. There's multiple power flashes still going on. Uh, the uh, it's going to be crossing into Arkansas soon, but it's still in Oklahoma, and I have every every reason to believe that it's on the ground. Uh, still power flashes. Yep, we're seeing your this video. Is it's be a near Runestone. Go ahead. Runestone Park. Okay. So again, if you're around on the east side of Hevener, you have to take cover uh, because this just wrapped back up. It's been cycling, and unfortunately, it's cycled right back on up. We put JD just on the west side of town so he wouldn't be right in the middle of it. So that has come up over the Hevener area, and again, it's a tornado on the ground. And so as you look at it, then station will have a storm track for us. So it's coming up around the Monroe area and Trestle Ford. So that's headed right on up in this area. So it's a tornado, a very dangerous tornado on the ground. It'll be doing damage. Hopefully, everybody is in a safe place right now and the debris is showing up which means debris is being lofted in the air from this tornado uh, right now and JD uh, you still seeing uh, flashes looks like you are yeah uh, I just saw some power flashes again they're, they've been pretty much non-stop there was another one they've been pretty much non-stop they're still off to my northeast um, can't really tell how far I would say maybe a mile or two not too far I'm looking for a road that goes east up here and we're going to try to, you know, intercept from behind, actually, uh, kind of backwards from normal. But so as soon as I find this road, I'll get back in touch with you, Travis. All right. Hey, and J.D., uh, Ron Morton's here with us, and he's saying there's uh, no road that's uh, real uh, easy to get to at this point uh, that's in that location. Uh, so you'll have to, in fact, uh, Ron, you can uh, talk to him. Back north of Howe? Go north of Howe and then east. And so that's what you have to do, J.D., uh, and so right now, tornado, again, on the ground. And you can see the, uh, it's very obvious, the couplet, what's going on right in here. This is what we look for. When you find a tornado like this, you know it's on the ground. We have the tornado debris signature, which indicates, again, debris being lofted in the air. And so this is continuing to track to the northeast. Let's go over to Stacia and find out where this storm is headed in the tornado. Stacia. Travis, we want everyone in the community of Monroe, Trestle Ford, to be in their safe spot now. And if you're not, do it quickly. Uh, this is going to be tracking up to the northeast at about 45 to 50 miles per hour. So if you're anywhere along Highway 83 from Spring Hill Road off to the east into Arkansas, you need to take those precautions now. County Road 110 up to Monroe. Pay close attention to the storm if you live in Gilmore, Hartford, Prairie Creek. Those are off into Arkansas. Here's the time. Hartford would be about 650. Again, that's Hartford, Arkansas. Midland at 655. Huntington 7, Hackett 7, Greenwood 707. Just to broaden out, you can see if you live around the Fort Smith area, or if you know folks in Fort Smith, they need to be paying attention to this right now. We're tracking it south of Fort Smith, but make sure you're paying attention to those updates. It's northeast at this point, but if it turns more north, that could take it closer to Fort Smith. Trav? All right, very dangerous situation again for you guys. Stacia just mentioned it. We're going to mention it again for a while longer here as that continues to track up toward the, this is the Arkansas border area, but everything indicates that it's still on the ground. JD is having to uh, rearrange or move a little bit as we were just talking to him on the air of how he's going to have to move up and around. Unfortunately, our debris signature has not gotten smaller. It's gotten bigger. And so what that means is that there's a lot of uh, debris lofted in the air from the tornado. So the radar is seeing foreign objects that it doesn't normally see. It doesn't look like rain, doesn't look like hail. So it's something else. And so we know that that's corresponding to the exact same place where we have surface rotation. So that, again, that's tornado. We've been confirmed with that with a JD saying power flashes along this area. Power flashes are when the uh, tornado is actually Actually hitting power lines and that's causing arcing of the power lines and so that's going to continue to track to the northeast. I don't know JD if you're with me if you can go ahead and give me one more update before we try to shuffle you off into a, a safer area or at least get you into another location. What do you have for us? Yeah I'm coming into Howe and that's where I'm going to be going east to cut this thing back off but uh, I don't see anything right now there's kind of a mountain in the way but the last visual I had to the east there we go power flashes still power flashes I'm going to say this thing is still on the ground. I'm going to say this thing has probably been on the ground since the south side of
side of Hebner. And uh, so I'm going to track this to the east, and then I'm going to double back. I'm going to go back and check on the folks in Hebner and uh, see if there's any damage back there. But we're going to go east and try to get in front of it so we can't get a shot up for you. Back to you. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. So once again, tornado warning continues in effect for central portions of LaFleur County. That is moving to the northeast, and we'll go back to Stacia with an update here in a few minutes. But you can see what we're seeing right now is the velocity data still showing strong rotation near the surface as that continues to move to the northeast. So it's not too far from the Monroe area and just getting ready to continue to uh, make a move that will take it closer to the Arkansas border as it's moving to the northeast. Also, let's zoom in just a little bit on this, and if we can get uh, velocity data back on there, you see where J.D. is located right now, and some of that uh, he's closing in on how, so he's going to come up and around and look at that. Uh, but again, it's a very tight couplet right in this spot, and so you have the winds, and so now you see it not quite the same. It looks like it maybe could be a hair bit weaker. It's getting closer to the radar side over by Fort Smith or south of Fort Smith, but we're still looking at a very strong indication of rotation, still looking at a high probability that it could be a tornado. So we want you to be very much aware of what's going on, and it's now just on the south and east sides of Monroe. Station, if you would, give us a new update. Yep, Travis, and we want everybody in Monroe to again be in that safe spot on the southeast side of town is where we still find that circulation just south of Highway 83. Now this will be crossing over into Arkansas here in the next about five minutes, but anywhere from Hartford to the west to the state line, you need to be taking those tornado precautions. Hartford will be about 651, Hackett at about 701, and again, it's moving northeast, but if it continues, it, we're going to have to watch it getting close to maybe the southeast sides of Fort Smith, but that's if it continues on more of a north northeast track Trav. All right, and you see the uh, the track of what's going on with what Stacia said and JD is uh, again there's a, a place called Sugarloaf Mountain which is in this area and Ron was informing us yeah, that uh, will cut down on visibilities as well and uh, ability to have a visual sighting of that as JD continues to loop around uh, again, we're near the Monroe area, and that's the strongest uh, impact area on the east southeast sides of Monroe. And then that will continue to move across the Arkansas border areas and start to move out of our viewing area. It did start down to the southeast of Hevener. And in fact, if we could, let's uh, take a look at the shear markers from that uh, period station if we could. And what we're going to do is we're going to just track this as it's going to the northeast, and you'll be able to see. Uh, when it started to wrap back up right in the areas just on the southeast side of Hevener, and then it picked up steam as it went northeast of Hevener, and you see right through here was strongest right in there, still strong, uh, maybe not quite as strong. It could uh, be cyclical, so it could be uh, doing another cycle thing before too long, so hopefully it could die down a little bit, but unfortunately tornado debris signature continues to show a lot of debris that just popped up right at the Hevener area and continues to move to the northeast toward the Trestle Ford area. And this is a very, very rural area out here and population density isn't very high, but we're hoping and praying nobody was in the path of this because this does appear to have been a very strong tornado, especially for this time of year uh, as that continues to move to the northeast. And so that's going to be just an area around the Trestle Ford area and just east southeast of Monroe, as Station mentioned, please be in your safe spot if you are watching this right now. Station has another update on the storm track here in just a moment. But uh, the tornado warning goes all the way up to around the Gilmore area, as you see on the north and west sides. We're really focused, so uh, just we know where it's at right now. So it's a very tight area that's uh, really concerning. There will be some winds of 60 miles per hour to 70 miles an hour that have already moved into the Fort Smith area. Uh, but this is still one of those situations where we want you to be advised. And of course, uh, it looks like it's weakening maybe a hair bit right now. That'd be a blessing if it was. Let's see what Stacia has to say. Yes, Travis, it looks that way just south of Trestle Ford, though, but anywhere between Trestle Ford to the state line, you have to be in that that centermost part of your home on the lowest level and away from windows and doors. This track will continue to the northeast at 45 to 50 miles per hour. So anywhere from State Highway 83 Monroe to the state line, please be cautious of this. And then State Highway 96 over into Arkansas to Hartford. This you're not going to be able to see it because of the terrain and also the very heavy rain. So just take those precautions by getting in the centermost part of your home and avoid windows and doors because these are going to be really strong winds coming in even with the circulation feature starting to not look so tight. It still could produce a tornado and it still could bring in some very strong damaging winds. Hunting 702, Hackett 703 and again continuing up into Arkansas from the Monroe Trestle Ford area now crossing that state line here in about three to four more minutes I'd say. Travis. 
All right, thanks. I appreciate that. And again, you're looking at a very intense thunderstorm uh, that is weakening a little bit. I want to point out to let's go down to McCurtain County just for one second. Uh, I want to point out a tornado warning. Uh, Vaughn is uh, just on the uh, north side of that, but there's a tornado on the ground just southwest of Idabel right now, about eight miles southwest of Idabel, coming in on Idabel in Oklahoma. And uh, that's one of our more southeast uh, cities or communities that could head on up to Broken Bow. So this is a very dangerous situation. If you have family or friends down there, they should know about it. But if they don't, uh, tell them that uh, any place around Ida Bell to Broken Bow right now is lined up with a tornado. We have a tornado emergency warning, which means the tornado is on the ground headed to a populated community. And so this is a unique situation. It's out of our viewing area, but yet it's a, an emergency, which means that it's a very highly dangerous life-threatening situation uh, for the folks down there. And I know we have a lot of folks that are connected to folks in Southeast Oklahoma. So that is literally moving in on Ida, right here is Ida Bell. There's a circulation tornado on the ground headed into town. And it's just literally just on the southwest side of town. Could be up to around Broken Bow. So that's just something we wanted to point out on the side as well. Let's go back to the other storm for a minute. And then we're uh, looking at the potential again with the tornado warning. Uh, that's uh, right where we have JD. You can see Sequoia is not too far away from that as well. This storm is now moving over to, through the Trestle Ford area. Circulation feature is still in this location, starting to move over into Arkansas. Uh, let's look for tornado debris signatures on here and see if we can see anything left over. This should have weakened enough that the debris signature, it's weakening a little bit, but they're still lofted in the air. And so one of the problems is the fact that once it's in the air, it takes a while for it to come back down. And we do have strong shear indications right in here as well. So Sequoia is on the east side of that. JD is also in that vicinity as that continues to move toward the state line around the apex area. And that will start to move over into Arkansas. And uh, hopefully it stays out of Fort Smith and hopefully it quits, but it could very easily recycle because of the dynamics involved in this storm. And again, we're talking about far southeast parts of our viewing area, but I did want to bring it to the attention of uh, folks that you have family down here in this area and the viewers that we have down here. Also the Ida Bell storm. Stacey, you have one more update for us before we go. Yes, Travis, I was just down looking at the Ida Bell storm. Uh, that one's still looking very dangerous for the community, but back up to the north here with our storm that's now leaving or getting ready to leave LaFleur County. It's still just south of the areas southeast of Monroe, Trestle Ford, right along State Highway 83, just down to about County Road 110 is where we find our strongest winds, and that is crossing over into Arkansas now. The track is still northeast. The speed hasn't changed too much. We're going to uh, set it at about 45 to 50 up to the northeast from there and this tornado warning will continue until about seven o'clock. So we have around 10 more minutes. Now the track Hartford 655, Huntington 704 and Greenwood at 712. So again, the strongest winds right now and the area that we're still concerned with some circulation is right along State Highway 83 down to 110, pretty much at the Oklahoma Arkansas line just west of Hartford. If you know people in Hartford or you're watching us in Hartford, please take those precautions now. Lowest level interior room, stay away from windows and doors. So again, we'll continue with our tornado warning for about nine more minutes. It'll end at seven o'clock and still some strong wind potential. Even if we don't have a tornado on the ground anymore, you could still get some damage definitely from this storm. Trav. All right, thanks. I appreciate that. And again, this is moving out of our viewing area. Sequoia is in the middle of it. Uh, Aaron, have you had any reports from Sequoia about what's going He's not able to see any. He can't see anything. Doesn't see too much either. Okay, uh, so that tornado warning still in effect. We're going to be dropping this uh, because it's just moving. Once we get to the state line, it's out of our area, uh, so it's almost out of the area. We'll go down south just one more time for folks that in the Idabel area. Uh, so this is right on, uh, right in Idabel at this time. Uh, circulation should be right over town. So again, hoping and praying uh, that they're not in a bad situation. The blinking light and the purple indicates a confirmed tornado and a tornado emergency moving in on a, a community with a higher population density. And so that's what we have right now as that's moving in across Idabel. So praying for these guys. We've had several areas hit in northeast Texas. So it's been a rough night. It's still going to be a rough night for the folks down there. You can tell what's going on right here, right over the city, uh, community, city. Uh, of Ida Bell and that's moving northeast. So if you have friends up in Broken Bow, if you have some uh, family that might be staying up in well in southeastern 
Oklahoma right now because a lot of people like to take a break and go into the weekend and enjoy a weekend, especially in the fall when the colors are usually pretty nice. You might get a hold of them uh, because this is uh, not a good situation for the folks down there. All right, that's the latest of uh, what's going on in the area. Again, the tornado warning has been uh, or starting to push over into Arkansas. We'll take one more quick look at our storm. Otherwise, there's aerial flood warnings uh, out southeast of Tulsa. We have rain in Tulsa, uh, but right in and around where uh, we have been located near Apex at this point. Uh, that continues to track to the east into Arkansas. So our coverage of the tornado warning is going to end here as it moves across the state line at Highway 83. And it has weakened. Uh, could you see if there's any other shear on that before we walk away from this one? Um, and just a little bit of shear still right left on the, on the state line. Otherwise, if anything else changes, we will have that information. Keep it here. We'll keep you advised.